I hear a lot about uh, America falling behind in math and science and engineering, and um, there may be some truth to that, but I think the kids all over the globe have inherent creativity. If you're an educator, you've got an obligation to give kids the tools to build upon their creativity and to make their ideas a reality. Today, coding is everywhere, and students who learn how to write code become content creators, not just content consumers. Students can't just be linear thinkers, they need to be nimble, flexible thinkers. And I believe that students who learn to write code and use that to solve problems are really going to embrace the uh, I can figure this out kind of mentality. There's so many different fields they're using coding now. No matter what sort of work you're doing, there's a good chance that coding is going to play a major role. We're training students now for leadership positions in fields that may not even exist yet. It's incumbent upon people in the private sector to put some pressure on schools to say, you know, you're not producing the kinds of people that we need to hire. And you need to push students to develop the skills that we need in the work world today. Kids get inspired naturally by this work. They're very comfortable with technology when we've got girls in those classes, when we've got kids who think of themselves more as artists than tech kids, they're really enjoying coding, that they're doing outstanding work. That just re-emphasizes that, that it's important for us to get all the kids into those classes. All students, uh, boys and girls at all different age levels are gonna have the opportunity to experience and explore uh, developing code and making code. The hope is for this to be truly multidisciplinary. We're not forcing coding into the curriculum, where we're still teaching the big, high-level skills that we believe in. We've just found places where coding fits into the curriculum very naturally. If students learn to learn coding within the geometry class, within their art class, within the social sciences classes, then it will stick, then it will have meaning, then it will have an applicability. This is a skill that all students should have. There's a world that all students should be exposed to. And so instead of just having it be an elective course that a few students get a chance to learn about, we want to make sure that every single student who graduates from Beaver has had some work with coding. One of the great things about Beaver is that we hire teachers who are eager to take risks and aren't afraid of challenges, who recognize that staying a step ahead is a good thing. I think if we had made a different choice, we might be replicating the trends that we're seeing already, and that is that not enough kids would necessarily see themselves as kids who can code. We always focus first on what students need. You know, what do we need to prepare students to do, not just to be, uh, have a leg up in college, but to have a leg up in the, in the uh, new world of work, which is you know, dramatically different than it was five or ten years ago. Students who understand the power of coding and what that can mean as they design businesses and develop their ideas will operate in that class at a much more sophisticated level. It's a world that's constantly changing and improving. Our kids are very comfortable with that. They understand that the world they live in is constantly changing and growing. They want to be part of this big wave, this big movement um, that's going to continue, that doesn't have a clear end. I think that's part of the excitement.